let's talk about the envelope generator. This is a Buchla envelope generator through and through. And it again is one of the cool things that uh, Don Buchla really brought to the table when it came to synthesis, which is his envelope generator, which may not have had uh, an ADSR structure, but it does have looping, which is a thing that other uh, inventors and manufacturers didn't get around to until a lot later. As we've been using this thing, we have largely just been using it triggered by the keyboard. That means that the gate coming in from the keyboard I'm playing, which in this case is a microfreak, and it's going into the gate input on the back uh, that allows you to control it from Eurorack or other synthesizers like this one. It just triggers the envelope generator and it happens the way that it happens. But there is some functionality that we need to explore here, so let's do it. Okay, so I have it to the keyboard setting and uh, that is what we've been hearing. I can switch it to the pulser and then nothing happens. And why? Do you remember? Because the pulser is not going. So whenever the pulser is triggered, then uh, it will trigger the envelope generator. As it happens, the pulser is currently set to keyboard. So let's see what happens when I press the keyboard. It happens, but it the pulser sends the pulse at the end of its... Uh, it cycles, so that's why we're getting a sort of delay there, but it is happening. Okay, so uh, that is cool, and also we can always set the pulser to self. And now both of them are happening. Uh, right now I have gate two being controlled by the pulser, and then, of course, the envelope generator is controlling gate one. So you can hear them working in tandem, and what is happening is the pulser is triggering the envelope generator. You can see them change together in tandem. Now you can also switch it to sequencer, which right now is working because the pulser is going, but if the pulser was not going, then the envelope generator would not be going because the sequencer is not going because the sequencer is not getting a signal from the pulser. <laughs> yeah, see, this is why it's not so easy to just dive right into this thing. These things develop these weird interrelationships uh, where there are chains of things that are depending on other things. And if one thing in the chain isn't working, then the thing at the end of the chain isn't working. It's very confusing. Uh, like it has been described by Caitlin Aurelia Smith, this is an ecosystem and it definitely is. There's a whole bunch of things depending on other things for them to work. But anyway, we'll get into the sequencer controlling the envelope generator a lot later because of the pulse sequence, which is directly related. But for now, we'll switch the envelope generator back to keyboard. Um, there is also the situation here where when you have the mode set to sustained, then when you, just like any sustain on an envelope generator, as long as you hold the key or the input or the gate, et cetera, you, the sound will sustain. We were just using it in transient where that is not the case. No matter what the sustain setting is set to, how long you have your finger on the note, et cetera, isn't going to matter. You can't see it, but right now I'm holding the note down. So those are the two different modes. Transient just basically goes from attack to decay. Sustain does play a role, but it's an interesting and weird role. I don't know if I have the words to describe it, but it causes there to be at least a little bit of a hold in the center of the attack decay shape. Which makes it kind of trapezoidal, I guess. But you have that possibility. Now, 
we also have the mode that is self. Right there, we have turned the envelope generator into an LFO. And much like other Buchla instruments like the 200E, this is a mainstay of the functionality. Basically, the shorter times you have, the faster the loop repeats. It even goes into the audio range. <laughs> so that's crazy, but okay. So you can have really cool things happening, like right now we have this repeating thing happening in gate one of the low pass gate. The pulser, which is controlling the second gate, let's get it going. Because you have two different independent channels, you can have these two modulation sources, which are basically right now low-frequency oscillators, uh, controlling the VCA of these two channels. which <laughs> just generates such a tremendous amount of possibilities. Okay, so there is still one more thing I wanna talk about here with the envelope generator, which is the fact that these uh, the stages of the envelope generator can be voltage controlled. I'm gonna switch our modulation oscillator into low, switch it to a triangle, take the modulation out, and then we're gonna voltage control the stages of the envelope generator. Now I will tell you that in Buchla functions, usually you have to turn a thing to zero for the voltage control to effectively work. And this is weird because zero is the bottom, even though zero is the top in regard to the envelope generators working. So to really hear the voltage control, um, I'm going to be moving this towards the bottom. So let's, uh, yeah, let's get a sense of what's going on here. I'm going to keep this in loop mode because it makes it really obvious what's happening. Now the mod oscillator is voltage controlling the attack stage of the envelope generator. You can hear the difference as I change the frequency of the module oscillator. And if you choose different waves, you can actually create interesting rhythms. hear it with the sustain. So we're getting a really weird sort of outcome because the envelope generator is looping. But this, these things can occur when it's being sequenced too, and I may do that just to give different uh, steps in the sequence, different note lengths, uh, and different uh, articulation. 
But yeah, so the envelope generator, as simple as it is, it's just an ADS. Uh, there are a lot of things you can do, and certainly you can't beat a looping envelope generator because then not only do you have an envelope generator, but you also have an LFO. And when you can voltage control the stages, you have a complex LFO. So uh, yeah, that is our envelope generator on the Bukla Easel Commander.